Well, welcome back to the uh, to the show. <laughs> yeah. Once again, we are starting without Edgar. <laughs> okay. welcome, welcome back to the Robin presents the Grand Slam. Yes, that that is that is me. I am Robin presents. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Robin P Resents. There we go. That's my full name, my legal name. <laughs> yep. Oh, the other guy is getting to know a quaalude right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so how was your week? It's been pretty good. That's good. Uh, In fact, the day after the last recording, I set my second world record. I saw it. Congrats on uh, the Godzilla movie ga- movie game, right? Yeah. Nice. And then the next day, I set the last world record for that. <laughs> so I own world record in all three major categories on PS4. Nice. Behave, good boy. Just behave. Well, well, well. Luffy decided to come crawling back. What? <laughs> <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? I don't crawl, I walk. I actually wanted to bring this up. Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. So, at the future game show, I didn't watch this, but looking at the tech radar posting on what was shown off, like Jurassic World Evolution, some Sonic Colors Ultimate, Mm -hmm. it says here, a story trailer for a game called Eldest Souls. Eldest Souls? Mm. I don't know why that makes me so mad, but they literally took first part of Elden Ring. And we, went through a period, <laughs> we went through a period of gaming where things were being called blank souls, and now fucking we're going to have a whole other set of video game, knockoff video games that have the name Eld, Eldest or Elder <laughs> in it. But these fuckers, I don't even know what this game looks like. I don't know who's making it. But fuck you. (laughs) Oh, God. God, So stupid. Don't make something original. Just copy what's popular. Elden Sora. The new game. Coming to Nintendo Wii in 2022. (laughs) <laughs> uh, coming to the Atari 800 near you. Play as Sora, who has a real sword and kills Goofy in real time. Um, <laughs> he hears uh, the Goofy's <laughs> Goofy scream. Yeah! And then that's the game. That's the whole game. You spent $70 on this game <laughs> for, a, for a five minute, for a 10 minute uh, opening credits for a five second gameplay you see you can subscribe to our premium plus pass to get 10 free drops including (laughs) one exclusive ultimate legendary sora that includes the ultimate legendary sora donald (laughs) duck and daffy duck that's it (laughs) why wait why daffy duck isn't daffy duck warner brothers shut up shut up (laughs) Hey everybody, um, hi, welcome back. This is, uh, part two of the Grand Slam mini episode of our E3 discussion. And of course, I'm here with Robin and our special guest, Mr. Gage. Hello, once again, here in this 
divine world we call part two yes. of the mini episode. Part where two. where we're gonna talk about pretty much just one conference. We're gonna talk about Nintendo winning E3. Yeah. Basically. Well, I'd say it's a tie between Microsoft and E and Nintendo, but uh, depending on what kind of games you like, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That's what uh, I guess. To be fair, I th- Nintendo no, for it, showed off the better race. Nintendo showed off the better racing game. So. Yeah. Mm. Which one was that one? I'm like really having a hard time remembering. Uh, what was it called exactly? Cruising. Cru- oh, yeah. right, 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 right. Yeah, now I remember. Yeah. Yeah, cruising. Is that made by the same guys who did like Cruise in the World and like those arcade games, or is it yeah, just by? Yeah, that's them. Okay, I thought so because I was wondering if that was the same name, because or if they're just it's just by coincidence they're just using Cruising. But okay, yeah. I am down. I am down for it. I am down because I have Cruising Cruising the World on my uh, on the sixty four. So oh. hell yeah, mm. I'm ready to play it. <laughs> Alrighty, but yeah, um, because overall, I guess the other most of the other conferences we had that we talked in part one were just the um, you know, the starters of it, and most of the other ones, like the small ones, really didn't do great. Like, I mean, Capcom. The only reason I knew, I kind of had hope for Capcom, maybe, but I knew that you know they weren't gonna show anything, especially since they already said what they were gonna show. So it's just <laughs> <Yeah>. like <laughs> they they told us what was gonna happen, and we were still fucking disappointed <laughs> <laughs> it was like oh jesus i thought it was kind of weird that uh who you who you much you would call it mr capcom they showed off uh gameplay for phoenix right which i was like i mean i i'm kind of excited for that uh i'm excited for it it was just I, like I, go for uh, it <laughs> well i was no i was i was basically saying exactly what you were saying i'm excited for it because they finally showed gameplay of it um mm-hmm. and uh well, gameplay has been out there they just haven't localized it well yeah well i this is the first time i've seen like it's actually official uh that's actually official that it's like oh shit it's mm-hmm. coming out i'm excited for it because i played the first trilogy and now i'm gonna play another chronicles i'm gonna play chronicles yeah. so i'm like nice i'm excited for it the chronicles of- i love the ace attorney century yeah I remember telling my friend Alex that because he was asking about that about Ace Attorney, and I said, "Oh yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. Like, it's a really fun game. It, it was a new experience for me." And he he was he thought like I played it like I was I played it originally on the DS when it first came out. Like, no, 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 I this is like a I played the the trilogy like when it was re released on the PS4, and I never played it ever before. So that was my first time playing it. And I said like for an older game. Uh, and it was my first time playing. I was like, no, it was actually really good. And I recommended him to play it. I did tell him, like, they are long. They're mm-hmm. pretty damn long cases, but they're it's pretty fun to play. Yeah, so. those, those games came out. Well, the original Ace Attorney came out on the Game Boy Advance in Japan. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I remember getting the uh, 3DS versions, like the Apollo, Apollo one and the newest Ace mm-hmm. Attorney, just so I can try it. I haven't continued playing it yet. Yeah, I stopped like midway through Apollo. Yeah. And just haven't gone back to it. Yeah. But that was pretty much Capcom. It was just the yeah, Monster Hunter. They, they and... really want you to buy Monster Hunter stories too. Yeah. I was yeah. like <laughs> And like, I haven't oh I haven't my even... God, every time Cap oh, for every time Capcom has like a uh, a thing going on, they're constantly talking about um, monster hunter stories too it's like oh god because for me it's like every time they have like a monster hunter update uh what do you call it like a like an update on the on monster hunter rise itself they always have to like show and bring in like a bit of what do you call a monster hunter stories too and i'm just like yeah and i'm just like i'm like don't worry i'm gonna we're gonna play it and people are gonna buy it, but it's like, come on, just it's just release it already. <laughs> I know, but holy smokes! They also um, announced they announced like they just put like text on when uh, about Resi- DLC for Resident Evil uh, Village. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, DLC. You can everyone can play Reverse now if you didn't own eight. Yeah, but you got it for free. 
But uh, what's the yeah? Deal? They put out announcement a black screen with white text. We are making DLC for <laughs> Resident Evil Village. <laughs> oh, which uh, like okay, I I really liked the DLC for seven, but like, can you tell us what 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 it is mm-hmm. instead of just saying like we're making it? Okay, you could have just kept that to yourself and then eventually showed us what you were making. Yeah, instead of just saying hey, we're making it. Okay, well, what that? What information does that give me that you're just making it? <laughs> I'm it's leaving like, oh. the show. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rob, got... <laughs> Rob was like, "This was too far, Capcom. Too <laughs> fucking far." But yeah, that was overall then... <laughs> Capcom, I guess. That was it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Bandai Namco, who. Has their hand in every cookie jar. What could they possibly be showing off today? One game. Just the one thing. They pulled a Warner Brothers and only had one thing to show off. Uh, and that was a latest uh, Dark Pictures game, House of Ashes. Oh, yeah. Which is made by... Uh, the, the same who are they? people. Super it's Giant? Same, I think so. It's the same no. people who did uh, Until Dawn. Until Dawn and all the other Dark Pictures games like Madam Medan and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. The, this one is, it looks interesting because I like what they're trying to do where it's like, oh yeah, you can play uh, you can play with somebody else online and it's like two different storylines happening at once. And yeah, that's... it's like basing the, des- you, you base this, the decision off of what your character said and off what the other player picks for their, the character they're playing. Mm-hmm. So and I'm just like, oh, that's actually kind of that's that's interesting. That's kind of cool that they're doing that. It's a I wonder new, if it'll, new if it'll be like it. a what is it? Uh, a way out or it maybe it takes two mm. from uh, those guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I I feel that's what they're they're trying to go for to make it kind of play like that. Mm-hmm. Which, which I, I'm I'm down for. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get it exactly because I barely I got the the first one like on sale and i've barely played it yeah i I loved until dawn but i've never played any of their other games it there i don't know it just feels like you just kind of have to like like there's always the the comment about like oh this game feels too much like a movie and it's like always it's always against like like naughty dog and stuff Mm -hmm. like that but it's like at least with Naughty Dog games, like, no, you actually have gameplay and you can move the characters around and shit and you can shoot people. Yeah. Whereas, so that that's where I always say, like, oh, it just you're basically just watching a movie. It's like, no, have you played the game? I like mm-hmm. what that that's my <laughs> thing is that I always think like when somebody says, oh, that's just basically a movie. It's like, oh, so they haven't played the game then. <laughs> I yeah. automatically assume that they haven't played the game. Yeah. Um. They also showed off the monster in the reveal trailer. Oh yeah, like, that's right. Pull out. Oh Bright yeah. daylight. Just which I thought. Is. Which honestly, when I saw that, I was like, okay, well now I have no point reason to play the game because now I know what the monster mm. looks like because it ruins yeah. the mystery. <laughs> yeah. Like for me, um, I, if I'm gonna be honest about the uh, of like Until Dawn and those the, that new trilogy they're trying to make with those games, I kind of lost interest in them because I was like. I remember hearing a lot of people say they got when they first released them, they were really fucking buggy. I don't know how they are now, but I remember when the reviews came in when when the first part of that trilogy came out. Not until Dawn. It's the other games. But they were reviewing those games oh, and they were saying that they were really oh, buggy. I, I remember there was that one. It was like a prequel to Until Dawn, but it was the VR game. And I remember yeah. people were having a really rough time with that. Yeah. Yeah. They did... They did one VR game after that that was separate. That was before the anthology series called Impatient or The Impatient. That, that's what I'm talking about. Impatient. Yeah. Mm. Uh, like I only played Until Dawn, and I've played I played a little bit of the first anthology game. Um, so like Until Dawn, like it didn't feel buggy to me at all. I felt that was a mm-hmm. really interesting concept what they were trying to do, and I really enjoyed it. And then. I played a bit of the first anthology. It's like, I didn't, it wasn't from what, how far I've played, there wasn't any bugginess to it. I just kind of stopped playing it because I just kind of, I don't know. I, I think I just lost interest in what the story was. And I think yeah. it's just that specific story. Mm. And, and I guess that's kind of like my, 
well, that's not my real issue with those kind of games, but um, when it comes to like video games like that, where it's like very, very like hard story driven, compare comparing mm-hmm. like Uncharted or The Last of Us with Until Dawn or those types of games like Detroit Become Human, Heavy Rain, like those kinds of games. Those those kind of You're games, right. I, I I can't get into those. Like I I like Heavy Rain and Detroit Become Human. I cannot stand those games. Just how they, like they are, <laughs> same but for different reasons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. With the uh, with the, the for me, it's like it's, oh. I I don't have a problem with with those games specifically the like uh, the games like Detroit Become Human. Um, the only problem I have is just the creator of Detroit Become Human. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's Fuck really me. it. <laughs> David Cage. Yeah. Uh. Oh, that guy. Like it's 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 like a guilty pleasure type thing. It's like I enjoy the stories of those games, but I hate the guy who yeah. does them. Oh, it's <laughs> super fun to shit all over those games, but yeah. Like, Jason, Jason. Oh, Jason. have you heard, have you heard of the, you, that glitch? I remember that fucking glitch. <laughs> Jason. 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 Oh no, it was like Sean. I thought it was Sean. Like Eddie Ray. Sean! Sean! Like, from, like, in the distance. Sean! Yeah. Sean! Oh, man, Sean! I always wished I got that glitch, but I never did. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Fucking... God. But In uh, brighter uh, news, the, uh, in br- the monster in House of Ashes is, called, is fucking Pazuzu. <laughs> I am Pazuzu. Literally, so I, I I saw a screenshot. Yeah, it's here on uh, Tech Radar's website. It's literally the fucking statue from The Exorcist. It's that exact <laughs> statue. Oh my god! It's fucking Pazuzu. I oh. am Pazuzu. Hopefully, they do it better than fucking Exorcist did. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We'll uh, see how well, the games the game isn't out yet. We'll see. But now let's go to the the big boy, which um, fuck that shit. Here comes Nintendo <laughs> with the big guns, literally. And um, <laughs> I will say, I uh, I personally am a really really big Nintendo fan myself, so. There are sometimes I always have my preferences with other games, but that for me that doesn't mean that I like ignore all the other uh, what do you call the other like trip uh, other third other um, console games like PlayStation other, or Xbox. Yeah. Like I, I yeah, like You're recently. <laughs> third party. <laughs> yeah, I was, but um, but like like recently, like I got myself a PlayStation Four, and I'm starting to go through the library of a lot of PlayStation games that are there, and. Of course, I played PC games, and uh, I've th- I've had my because I've always wanted to branch myself out than just Nintendo. But at the same time, I'm still ne- like I love Nintendo with all my heart, even though some decisions they do can be really stupid and frustrate me. But over that, like they're ge- like most of their games, like I love playing them. Like I I grew up with them as a kid. Like my my first kind of like console like was a Game Boy Advance, and I would play Ninja Turtles on it or like uh, the Advance. Um, uh, the advanced Mario games, like they had Mario three in there, Mario World, mm-hmm. like holy shit, that yeah. was like some good times, and you know, and with uh, and with what E three was so far, I think the only company that was that had like a pretty good conference was Xbox, but like there were some games that didn't really interest me in Xbox, so it was kind of that. But I will say, like mm-hmm. the what the highlight for me in Xbox's conference that really like it was like okay, you know what, I might give it a try. Which is the uh, the Halo Infinite multiplayer? Like it honestly looks fun to me, and um, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it's for free, yeah, yeah, and um, and th- I and this whole time I was so nervous leading up to Nintendo's E3 because I'm like, oh, sh- I'm so scared that if it's gonna be bad or what would they have, and I was hoping for stuff. Essentially, when we were predicting it, like my whole brain, even to like the countdown of when it started, I was like, oh my god, I'm like, I'm so scared of what they're gonna do. I'm like, I'm really hoping they save it for us. Uh, like save it for like E three for me personally, and I I'm gonna say I I I think they did for me. They really did. A forty five minute conference, fifteen minutes devoted to Life is Strange. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
what so, did you okay. what did you guys overall think of it did you guys like it or i i, I oh yeah i liked it uh, i thought it was great that we we got to see uh we got to see a, a new 2D Metroid game, uh, a new WarioWare game. Ze the fucking we finally got to see some fucking gameplay of the the Ze Breath of the Wild two. Yeah. Um. Uh. I'm fucking excited for Mario Party Superstars. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. It's like I, like that's like a big fucking step in the right yeah. direction, Nintendo. Yeah. My God. Like hell yeah. Let's uh let's oh. let's I want to I want to start in the beginning before we go with like the big crazy stuff. Um, yeah, which I want to start off with the first thing they showed off, which took me by surprise. And I know it's not, uh, it is a popular fighting game franchise. Um, but they, 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 they announced the next smash character, which was, I'm going to, I hope I don't butcher his name because I kind of forgot it right now, but Kazooie, not Kazooie, <laughs> is it? <laughs> no, it's not Kazooie, is it? Yeah. Uh, Kazooie Mishima. Kazuya Mishima. Banjo from... and Kazooie. <laughs> <laughs> Banjo and Kazuya. Oh my god. god damn it. But they his they hair's pointy. Maybe if he turned him around, he kinda looked like it. Yeah. Paint his uh, hair red. I, no, I was it, it it was a surprise, but I wasn't like um I was like, oh good good. I'm surprised it took it, it took that long to put a tech and character into the game. I, yeah. yeah, I was super surprised. But then I thought about it, I was like Bandai Namco basically made this game. I can't believe they only have one representative in Pac-Man. Yeah. Yeah. Also, if you, I saw it on online, but like, if you really, really like, want to go like, <laughs> um, so we have Pac-Man, Mega Man, Kazuya, and um, Ryu, and this is the second time those four characters are in are in one fighting game. The last yeah, fighting game they maybe. were on was, uh, uh, wh whenever they bring up the Smash Cross <laughs> blank, oh, I popped when it said Cross Tekken. I was like, oh my god, yeah. I just, I was like, and what I'm excited is like they're putting Tekken music in the game, Tekken music. Oh, fuck yeah, dude! I have the vinyl record collection to Tekken Three. It's fucking awesome. Ooh, his his move set is like. It it fe it looks like if they're really like influenced by making him a Tekken character because I can because at first I remember a long while ago there is uh, I always read these things where like oh Sakurai saying they can never uh, they thought about putting uh Hey Hashi from Tekken in the game but they said like the way mm -hmm. he didn't think he can make the move uh the move set justice especially since it's like a it's it's a literal like three D arena fighting game where like you play like in a three sixty yeah, way. A 3D fighter. So it's it's always like how are you gonna implement that in Smash? So the I guess the best way they did was like take the other strength and the other uniqueness of what Tekken is and just fuck it, add all the fucking move sets that Tekken is known for. Mm -hmm. Which Tekken is for people who don't know of Tekken. Tekken, especially uh, especially in Tekken Seven, what they're known for is having a huge literally a fucking huge variety of move sets for every character which yeah. is crazy so it's like a little uh, the best way i could describe it is it's like a literal fighting game sandbox like an uh, think of it mm -hmm. like an open world sandbox but in a fighting game with move sets and stuff and yeah. that's what i kind of feel hun hundreds of moves and dozens of combo strings you can go into depending on what situation you're in yeah so and... basically also, a lot of legacy skill carries over. So, like, if you've been playing Kazuya since fucking Tekken 1, he still has a lot of moves that carry over from there. Mm -hmm. and, and basically every sequel that came out, you would build and build on that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and, and the way it looks like what they're doing in here, it's like, yeah, they're a they're adding, like, a, like his moveset in this, which kind of, I will say, my, my, my Smash Brothers main is Terry. And I didn't know who Terry was until, like, I started watching, like, fighting game channels like Max, Million Dude, and, like, other people that stream it. And I was like, okay. And then I started playing Terry and Smash, and I don't know, I don't know what it is, but, like, whenever I play Terry, and he just clicks with me. Like, I love how he plays his Smash. And if, and if Kazuya is, is similar to Terry, I'm honestly, that he could, he could be another main for me, like a surprise one. Oh my god, the fucking FGC is having a fucking meltdown. Oh. <laughs> Uh, basically, uh, Sm the Smash Brothers community is having a fucking fit because they don't know what a fucking Shoto is. Oh yeah, and like they're thinking that 
anybody who is locked into a position facing one direction is like a Shoto. And then the FGC comes in, it's like, no, Shotos are like defined as fireballs, uppercuts, windmill kicks. And other people are also coming in, it's like, no, Shoto is short for Shotokan Karate that they practice. is like an actual <laughs> fighting martial art that you can learn. Mm. But then people come in, it's like, no, it's only linked to like Ryu and Ken who are practitioners of it and then other people come in is like no they actually don't use Shotokan karate <laughs> god oh my so god fucking stupid yeah it's it's such a weird fit but i'm honestly surprised but i'm happy with the pick they have with it i was kind of surprised yeah. they didn't actually show off the last fighter though oh well uh, i i didn't really expect to see the final fighter but mm-hmm. one more to go yeah. So I, a lot of people say that the final fighter is probably going to be like I keep hearing a lot of people keep wanting either the the rabbits or Rayman, mm. and I, I really don't I I don't know what what to expect because like I'm just like like I, I was mostly quiet for the 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 Smash Bros thing because I'm just kind of like for me I'm like I, I'm kind of I'm a little bit done with with the game. Um, mm-hmm. There's just, mm-hmm. like, way too much that's just coming out. And also, just, uh, I'm glad people finally got a chance to, like, oh, Tekken's fi- uh, representation of Tekken is in the game, but uh, I'm not, I wasn't all that big into Tekken, but it's like, oh, okay, well, cool that mm-hmm. they added him. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know what I would think what the last one would be. Yeah. Uh, it's like, it, 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 we've had so much on it that it's like, to the we're at the point where, like, I really don't know who else I can add in Smash. Um other than, uh, outside of, outside of like an indie darling or something from one of the big three yeah I so. yeah i feel like i it could it could it could go two ways e- easily like the first one it could go like in a really like disappointing route where everyone's like oh really like if it's like a fire like everyone's character. gonna be like that yeah and at the <laughs> yeah and, 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 and like I, I feel like at the end of the day like any smash character they announce is always gonna have someone like you're always gonna have the group like they're never satisfied so like even when dude if it's <laughs> i want it to be a character from tokyo mirage sessions which is the <laughs> cross fire emblem game dude i would pop the fuck off because i remember oh yeah because i know uh like even people when like banjo was announced you would oh there were that group of people that were mad that he was in and it's and it's like yeah at the end of the day like you're never gonna satisfy everyone in the the to- the very toxic up banjo do you remember steve oh yeah <laughs> you're bringing up banjo you're not bringing up steve oh, well i mean I, I forgot steve was in minecraft <laughs> I mean, I mean, steve yeah steve was in minecraft but he's in fucking smash yeah God. but I, yeah i know for me it's like i'm giving the example of like uh like even like a big character like Banjo that was so like highly praised of being in there, but like there's always gonna be like there's always a part like that toxic part of Smash Brothers that are never gonna be satisfied with what's in the game. But I mean, for for me personally, I was I was so hyped when Steve was announced. I mean, that's with every game though. Like, there's always gonna be a set of fans that are not gonna be pleased with uh with um a certain game. Uh, um. It, it, that's just how it is like you just gotta have to deal with it like we would have to deal with it but um yeah it, at this it would be kind of cool if the last one to end it all off on was either the rabbits or if somehow they say like we're goku. putting mass goku goku <laughs> was, no, like the and th- this this isn't meant to be as a joke but it could also be kind of a reality because of how close nintendo and microsoft are but like master chief as an, as an idea I feel like that. W- I feel like Master Chief would be like the perfect like class character that I could think of. Either, either them or or a uh, Doom guy. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. That would be an. I I feel I, like I feel like the 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 Master Chief trailer would give like a lot like would be very very hype, especially like if they start with this with a theme, and with the Doom guy yeah. one, I feel like that'd be a funny one. I feel like they would add like a a comedy like part of it with that trailer. Just like how uh, Kazuya basically uh, threw Ganondorf, uh, Captain Falcon, uh, Pit, and Marth down a, a lava pit after he killed them. <laughs> yeah. And then throws Kirby down, and then it cuts to the meme of uh, Kirby falling down the cliff going, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the fucking Sub-Zero. 
from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> oh, <Fallen>. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I fucking retweeted that. Oh, my God. I died. Uh, <laughs> this isn't a brutality. This is a fatality. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> but then, you know, so. as the direct goes, they showed off, you know, Life is Strange and Worms and uh, Two Point uh, Campus. No one cares for that. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, bring it up. I got to talk about it. Fucking, I could not believe it. One of the last two holdouts from the Wii U era is coming. <laughs> Oh yeah, it. Fatal Frame made oh, yeah. in a black water. Fatal Frame. Oh my god. D okay, so let, let me talk about this for a second. So back right. in the day, back in the duh, on the <laughs> Wii U, Fatal Frame Five was coming out, and it's only out in Japan. And we're fucking begging Reggie, please localize Fatal Frame Five. And then lo and behold, it actually finally comes out, and we have Fatal Frame Five. Like uh, six months later, we was fucking dead. <laughs> Damn. And now, fast forward, we have a bunch of ports coming over to Switch from the Wii U. Basically, all that we had left was Fatal Frame 5 and Xenoblade X. But now mm. we have Fatal Frame. We just need one more. And that co that console's actually obsolete. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> also, I found out um, like after the Direct happened when they announced Fatal Frame that it's also coming to PS4 xbox and pc wait mm. fatal frame is yeah fatal frame oh shit it's basically a uh wonderful 101 situation oh, mm. okay oh damn because i always because i'm like i always like, wonder i'm like i thought fatal frame was like a nintendo thing like it was like since fatal frame was like oh. an exclusive to the wii u so i'm like i wonder if like nintendo approved it and let them do it like that or if because it, it wasn't fatal frame wasn't kickstarted like wonderful 101 but um mm. I just I wonder how like that worked out that because that kind of surprised me. I I assume they just let them for the most part, but uh, mm -hmm. no, Fatal Frame has never been exclusive to Nintendo because I remember Fatal Frame two and three being on PS two. Mm. So I think, I, th I, think I, I think it was probably like the for the fifth one it was a special thing because the Wii U existed and it was like oh you can use it to like. Uh, use that as the camera feature while you're playing the game on the top. I think uh, it's a Bayonetta 2 situation. No one wanted to fucking publish this. Mm, yeah, that's probably maybe. It could be that. And um, th another one that was kind of like it wasn't really surprising because it kind of got leaked was a uh, Monkey Ball uh, Banana Mania. Yeah. Super Monkey Ball. And it's it's remastering okay. one two and <laughs> uh, Adventure something like that. And apparently, people found like. Uh, that there's rumors because you know how like in the monkey ball game that they redid uh recently had like you could play a sonic the hedgehog in it and uh, oh my god i just read something that pissed me off uh -oh. so here on games radar uh they it has a list of everything that was announced and super monkey ball here oh my god monkey ball banana mania is the remastering of the first three games in the series from the developer of the ryuga gokuto studio Ryuga, Ryuga Gokuto is Yakuza. It's the Yakuza series. Oh, oh. Shit. The director of that series created Super Monkey Ball before he made the Yakuza series. <laughs> but why is it saying it's the Yakuza developers <laughs> remaking Super Monkey Ball? That's bullshit. See what you did. See what you did, Sega. You made Gage mad. That guy needs to remember his roots. Remember where he came from. Remember who you are. <laughs> you made develop Ryaga Gokuto Studio. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the one that we just like uh, we touched on a bit was a uh, uh, Mario Party, which uh, yeah, Mario Party, which is it, which isn't a sequel to Super Mario Party, but it's 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 what everyone wanted Mario uh, Mario Party the Top One Hundred to be, but it wasn't. Yeah, the old shit. One that was on the 3DS and no one wanted it because <laughs> it's it's um it's a Mario Party game that it's kind of like Super Mario All Stars but it's Mario Party mm -hmm. and it's showing it you can play the board games of the the first 64 game I think mm -hmm. yeah. and it has all of the mini that's, games from every every Mario that's Party that's what we fucking wanted the original yeah. boards and 
a fucking mishmash of mini games. And yeah. goddamn, those boards look fucking good. Yeah, I do like the art style of uh Super Mario Party. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, here's the thing. Like, I, I, I did not like Super Mario Party. I thought it was a it was a good step in the right direction compared. Because I beat to... you that one time. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I legit had it for like I had it for two weeks and I sent it back to uh to GameStop. To, 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 to yes. Shiggy himself. I just <laughs> I shipped it. I, I packaged it and shipped it back. Um I don't know, it just didn't I it, I just didn't like it. But then but then I'm seeing that they're that they're doing this and I'm like, oh okay, this I would get. This one yeah. I would play. Um mm-hmm. but my problem with them is that compare i because i'm i was an old school mario party person like gamecube and 64 and i was just like it felt like they made it easier in super mario party and that was my problem with it it's like no there has to be some kind of challenge to it like i i didn't understand why it was so easy for me to obtain a, a star like and why is it only 10 coins to get a star Mm-hmm. Like you could easily get it. You can easily get ten coins and then get to it. And also, then another thing that isn't fair is that you could also easily get the uh, the golden pipe, which just uh, takes you straight yeah. to the star anyway. So it's like, where's the challenge? There's <laughs> it, mm-hmm. it, that. That's the, that was the main. That was a big problem. What I had with it. Did you see the uh, what do you call? It? Did you see the treehouse? Uh, not yet. I was going to because I didn't know that that's what they were going to play in the treehouse thing. Mm-hmm. I I saw, I, I was um, like, you know what? Let me look at the treehouse stuff. And honest, it, it looks it looks like they're it's it feel it looks like is what basically a lot of people really wanted with uh with Mario Party because I know the uh, the golden um the golden pipe is there and I didn't hate the item. It was kind of because I, I, when I see when I think of Mario Party, Mario Party is kind of like Mario Kart for me, which like there's randomness to it. And a lot of like it's always going to be the game where like we're always going to say like this is some random bullshit. And um, <laughs> and in this one, it had more than just like the like the bare items they had at Super Mario Party. It has like a lot of different items in it. Like there's the double they brought back the double dice. There's different different uh, types of dice. It's like the old like old times. And it, it looks like that yeah. they listened and it's like they're trying to redeem themselves with it because like I didn't hate Super Mario Party. It, I felt like, OK, it's it's in the right direction. But it uh, but like, as you can see, not many people started playing it, especially since there was no online. And they after like yeah. three years later, they finally added an onli- online on it. But it didn't. Everyone's like, why would I go back to this online thing if I don't care anymore? It was three years sure. too late, and then now with this, where yeah. every mini game is not only, um, it, it's all functional with button with button presses, but it's also all the games are gonna be playable online. Which that sounds like a lot of fun because they also said that not only are you able to play with your friends online, but if you're if you want to play it on your own and you want to like you could play with random people online. Which I'm like, okay, that sounds like fun. Uh, like you just go yeah. like to a random like game match and you're just playing with like random people. And I think the one thing that kind of feels funny is um they added stickers, the like reaction stickers, and I feel like that's gonna be like a a fun thing to annoy your friends with. <laughs> yeah. Also, Birdo's in there. I don't think Birdo was in the other one. No, she wasn't. Wow. Uh, it's I think, be- I think it's, it's because. Time. Well, I think it's also because it's like it's supposed to be an all. It's supposed to be a superstars game, so it's supposed to have everybody that's been in the games. It should all at least... the warriors. Yeah, the entire Wu Tang Clan. God damn, <laughs> Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but Oof. that Mario Party, I'm I'm excited for it. Um, mm-hmm. I'm ready for it. Comes out in October. Then, then there was there. There's Mario Golf Super Rush, which it, it comes out next week so it's so it, it looks month? it comes out in a couple of next days week. next week yeah 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 it looks so much fun uh, i think and i know friday one next week oh shit nice 25th um the one i wanted i, I do want to talk about a bit is is because it was the one they showed right after uh mario party was it was it was kind of a shocker, especially I know I was talking about this and our prediction stuff in last episode, but it was um 
it was so bizarre that they actually are making a Metroid Five. And they're not only yeah, it's not yeah. only not only is it a Metroid Five, but it's called Metroid is Metroid Dread, a game that's been in in development since I believe two thousand and three. It was a wow. it was a it was a fucking concept that was canceled fifteen years ago, mm-hmm. and fucking here it is. I remember hearing about Metroid Dread like back in 2014, 2015, when they were telling the story about it being canceled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, and um, here and we they fucking are. And they say if you go to base uh, in the GameCube version of Metroid Prime Three, I believe, if you go, if you look up the files, like in the information you find, they have a tease on Metroid Dread saying Metroid Dread is close to completion or something like that. But apparently, they said the Wii on the Wii version of the Metroid Prime trilogy is not there. But hmm. And that's where, and I remember seeing like you videos of people talking about like, oh, Metroid Dread of like the long lost uh, Metroid game that's never to be seen. And I mean, look at it now. It's it, it's it, I it's it's fucking crazy to see a game that's was lost for nearly years for a dec a decade a decade lost for go- a lost game that was never finished is now mm-hmm. here in the flesh, and it comes out in October. And fuck and go holy hell! Like October is packed with a lot of games that they've announced. October's fuck, dude. Dude, my wall. I I feel fucking <laughs> my wall Metro- is gonna be Metroid empty. and Super Mario Party are coming out in the yeah. same month. Even Monkey Ball too, if anyone's excited for Monkey Ball, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I li- I like the look of of this Metro of Metroid Dread. Especially in the 2D style. Um, yeah, it looked fucking great. I'm excited to play another 2D yeah. Metroid. And what's even crazy is they're get, they're releasing a, a special edition of Metroid Dread with a steelbook. A steelbook. Mm-hmm. They already got those special editions. Out. Your steelbook, your art book, your amiibos. Oh, yeah, the amiibos. And... Mm-hmm. Uh, because I remember watching it, and I saw, and they were talking about, like, Metro Prime 4. I'm like, oh, okay. And then they said a new me- series. I'm like, wait, what? And I'm like, hopefully it's not. I was kind of hoping it wasn't a remake. And then when you see it, I'm like, huh, what's this? And then it said Metroid 5. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? The rumor going around at the time was <coughs> uh, Merc- Mercury Steam, who made Samus Returns on the 3DS, and who's making this game, was going to be making a Fusion remake. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's just the next mainline metroid game. Uh, metroid and well, appar- and apparently they said that this is the uh it's the conclusion to the metroid uh like the species of metroid like it's gonna conclude that part of the story of what they've oh, said wow. yeah so like this is like the, is the like the canonical end are we gonna put an end to samus's mommy issues <laughs> we don't talk about me- other m we don't talk about that we one don't, we, we don't talk about the baby <laughs> the baby Da baby, da uh, baby, or Adam, oh. or fucking Adam. Why? <laughs> but Her, that she also has daddy issues at the same time. <laughs> her, her own gosh. internal mommy issues, and then her fucking daddy issues with Adam. Oof. Oh boy. This series has been fucked up for a while. Speaking of another franchise that was long gone, and I never thought would ever come back. Um, Monster Hunter Stories Two. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Advance Wars, a game yeah. that's from the Game Boy Advance, and this is ba- being made by Way Forward, the sh- the people who made Shantae. Woo! Way Forward. And I know how much Gage is a big fan of Shantae. That's why I was like, when I saw they were the developers, I'm like, oh shit, because I've never played uh, the Advance Wars, but I've always heard about them. Everyone's like, these are so cool. I was like, it's like it sucks. Mm-hmm. Nintendo doesn't like acknowledge them or ever bring them back or anything. And then when I heard, when I saw like the the way it was, um, when I saw the trailer, I'm like, holy shit, they're bringing Advance Wars back. I'm like, that's so sick. Uh-huh. I'm like, I'm so happy for everyone who were advanced war fans they finally can uh they're remastering one and two it's like now we must wait wait for battalion wars three (laughs) (laughs) hearing about advanced wars one and two getting a reboot um i'm i that may gives me some confidence that maybe there may either be remakes of battalion wars one and two or they'll make a a third game Mm mm-hmm 
Like, I mean, I would be fucking excited for yeah i mean the way this direct presented itself is like it shows like there is hope for like these games that were long gone and the and the old nintendo systems that there's a chance that they could come back yeah come on like, custom robo Ooh, like if they could bring advanced wars back they could bring custom robo they could bring back um uh like blink the golden sun like they could bring a lot of these like say, i thought you were gonna say blinks the time cat <laughs> <laughs> oh no. blinks holy shit but i i will I, i'm gonna pick up uh advance wars and uh um yeah. metroid dread just to like to you know uh even if i'm like i never grew up with these i do want to try them out but also be like hey nintendo you know these old titles everyone wants them back you know maybe bring your other old titles back you know, hit, hit, wink, wink. Yeah. Oh, oh speaking, and another one that I was kind of like excited to see was WarioWare. Oh, yeah. I'm excited Ooh. for that. Yeah, new WarioWare. You could play two players with it. It seems to be like a more of a, like a 3D platformer style type of mini games. Mm -hmm. Where yeah. it seems like all the different characters have different properties and they can solve the puzzles in different ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which That's I think is pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, basic, and I and I I loved how they they introduced it. It's Charles Martinet doing playing Wario, and he's he looks like he's having a fun time with it. What do you mean yeah. you don't know who I am? It's a me, Wario. <laughs> Dude, I'm ready to hear Ashley's theme again, <laughs> not <Ooh>. just in Smash. <laughs> that 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 theme's a bop. They 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 were showing some good stuff with those. Like you had WarioWare, we had Mario Party, we had Metroid Dread. We have um, all uh, Advance Wars. It's like some good stuff. Also, I do want to hear from you guys because I never played Cruising, but I knew there was a lot of people that were excited when they heard that was an that was announced. Um, Fucking Cruising was originally it was an arcade game, um, and then they ported it to like Nintendo sixty four. Um, so this is like there was like Cruising USA, and then there was Cruising the World. Um, I think that was really pretty much it. I don't even know if they made any other arcade games after that, but not to my knowledge, at least. But this is the first time I've seen a cruising game yeah. in a long time. Cruising Blast. So, so I'm excited that they're making another one. I never thought that they would. <laughs> yeah, Cruising Blast came out in the arcades in 2017. Oh, damn. Okay. And now it's being ported over. And from everyone that I hear about that, th this game is fucking fun. Nice. I mean, you could, you could, you I could race, you could race against a police car and a unicorn or a Pegasus. Mm -hmm. It's just like it. It looks crazy fun though. So I'll probably have, pick that one up when it comes out. And then of course we have what they have the the last segments of the show, which were uh, it, it kind of got me worried at first because like okay, this is the last segment, and they uh, and it showed uh. Age of Calamity, which don't get me wrong, I like your Age of Calamity. It was a fun time to play. It was just like, please don't be the last thing you guys show. Oh, I thought they were gonna end the show on that. I was like, oh man. <laughs> yeah, I was about like, don't you, don't you fucking end it. This is the thirty fifth anniversary. Don't you end it on on Age of Calamity. And then they showed Age of Calamity. Then they showed the Game and Watch thing, like they did with the Nintendo, the Mario. Yeah, thing. which um, I, I I probably might I might pick that one up. That looks it, I I have the Mario uh game and watch, and the way that one looks, I'm like, oh, it looks like a neat collector item. So I'm like, I'll probably so pick that a, one. Up. So does a bunch of so does a bunch of WalMarts all across the United States. So right. surprisingly, um, it's not immediately sold out. Yeah, yeah. that's same, why I'm like, oh, same I'll... with um, Mario all. Same with Mario All Stars. Yeah, like, those there's still a ton of them. That's why I'm like, I'm, I'm probably not gonna like pre. I'm not gonna pre-order that thing because I'm just like, oh, it's they're gonna make an abundance of it and it's gonna be everywhere for a long time. So, but I'm like, oh, I'll yeah. pick it up. It looks like a neat thing to have for me personally. Then there was uh, Skyward Sword HD for the Switch. Um, oh, coming which, up. Yep, uh, it, I'm excited to try that. I've never played it, so Same. I'm finally mm -hmm. gonna be able to play it. Which I kind of feel you 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 might have to play it because of what they last showed was I feel like everyone was waiting for this thing, which they showed more snippets and more teases of the sequel to the Breath of the Wild. But and they uh, showed almost they basically showed actual gameplay. And, yeah. And I I am excited. Like it's essentially the same map, but like a lot but stuff started floating up into the sky. Mm -hmm. They basically so, expanded the map into the air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's 
it's I, I for me it's like it's kind of, it's hard to say like what lifted up or not because it's like it shows like these different islands and I mean when I saw that I got really really excited Th- that it makes a lot of sense now why they release they're releasing Skyward Sword other than they want people to play Skyward Sword but mm-hmm. I'm just like they're having they're expanding the map to the sky so there's a lot of stuff there and it kind of looks like they are going back to the what we know of as dungeons in Zelda instead of what we had with yeah. the divine beast which I'm excited for mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. I, I really much prefer a dungeon compared to the beasts yeah and even the ground and the new moves links hat the new moves that we saw link have where he can it looks like he can reverse time like a stasis thing but this time it can reverse time thingy like that with with the spike ball and the other one is where he can go through the ground like water or something like that yeah and it's it's and the way dre- the link is dressed and how zelda falls down in a hole she got th- she got thrown off by kazuya <laughs> she fell down the lava pit link looks like he lost an arm but now the arm's like taken over by this weird green thing and ganon is uh, he look he still looks at he looks dehydrated as we saw him before but Golly, the, the sky looks fucking gorgeous, man. The way they were, the, how they showed it, it's like, I want to see. And then they show like this new creature. It looked like some weird lizard or dragon thing. It's like, mm-hmm. like a mechanical thing. And I'm like, oh shit. And ever since then, I'm just like, I I still, I still feel the sky section of uh, Breath of the Wild too. I think that's not the only thing they're going to have in it. I feel like, I don't know why my, my, my gut's telling me there's still, obviously there's still more that they're good. There's still more that they haven't shown us or told us, but I feel that one of them is that not only are we going to explore in the sky, but we're also going to explore down below where we're going to go in caves and there's going to be like a vast land to explore underground yeah Hmm. we have to wait until next e3 because i don't even think they didn't even say that it was they they had a release date yet for it right or they they just 22 yeah yeah uh, that's right that's right um Hmm. so we'll we'll get to see more of it next year yeah the way that anuma said it eiji anuma he's like our goal is to have the game ready uh to release on by um by 2022 which for me my thinking is we're gonna see we're not gonna see it for a while we may be most likely not i'll be surprised if we get a tease at the game awards uh this december but most likely we're gonna see more of it and most likely we're gonna see the title of the game at e at next year's e3 and the game will not release and probably won't release till the fall or even the winter Mm. of uh 2022 yeah winter jeez Mm -hmm. that's my feeling of like when this game is gonna come out and i feel like like they're waiting they're also waiting until nintendo announces the uh switch pro yeah that's what i was about to bring up yeah Mm -hmm. if that was going to be a thing there were some rumblings but nothing yeah yeah there was so there was a lot of like talk about the switch pro which i was like okay where like people were talking about like how it was going to be shown off before e3 or like sometime soon and i was always hearing like people online talk about it and i'm thinking like it could be possible that they're just um they're waiting for the right time because i feel like they they do have the switch pro but i feel like they're waiting till like it's the right time to announce it or whenever they're ready to release it because i feel like that's kind of the because i i because someone had like an interesting point where like someone was like it could be the reason why we haven't seen anything from bayonetta or like any other bigger games that it's been a while since we've seen where it's just that they want to show it off in the switch pro i feel you show it off with age of calamity holy <laughs> shit yeah actually running on 60 fps holy shit but i i don't know why i'm like there still is most i i do believe that nintendo does have a switch pro but i feel like they're not ready to show it off yet especially since it's hard to believe that the switch is already four years old which is it's it's kind of crazy to see but at the same time i am interested to see what the switch pro would be or whatever it's going to be called and i kind of hope they do show it off like you know like maybe in the september director like whenever they do like later on in the summer but i feel like we're not too far away from whenever they announce the switch pro i feel like it it, it won't take that long till uh nintendo um wants to show off a new pro so they could have like more companies develop their games for it to make it run uh much better on them yeah, because yeah, uh, hardware developers usually come up with some kind of subtitle for their improved version of their consoles. 
like Xbox will have like an Xbox Slim or what was it? Or the Elite PlayStation will put out their Pro, their Slim. Yeah. What, what would Nintendo put out? What would they call it? The one that I heard that kind of sounds like it would be a cool callback. Call it the Super Nintendo Switch. <laughs> just be like, oh, just uh, maybe. <laughs> I I feel like it's it's just going to be called Switch Pro. Yeah, uh, I just Switch entertainment system. <laughs> the SES. Oh, SES. But um, I honestly don't really. Know. I just the one thing I hope they don't call it is the new Nintendo Switch. Don't go back to that 3DS oh. era of calling oh. the new. I don't want him to call it that's the. Ex- n- you fucker! That's exactly what it's gonna be called. Uh, great, great, Edgar. <laughs> you no, know, it, it just makes too much fucking sense. Oh, <laughs> fucking end it. Let's. I'm out of here. <laughs> don't, don't ever call me back here again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I it's always. Uh, I mean, we are, we are, we are pretty much close to the. We are pretty much to the end of where where we want to be anyway. I was gonna yeah. say something funny like the Switch Motion Plus or some shit like that, but no, you have to go ruin it. <laughs> the this or what do they call it? The Switch U, a reference to their Wii U. <laughs> the, the, Switch. the Switch Me. <laughs> the Swee. Call it the Swee. We switch to you. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but I. Uh, but yeah, that was that was the conclusion of E3. Um, overall, what did you guys think of E3 this year? What was what was overall your your thoughts and the main highlight for you personally? I thought there were better years. Um, I enjoyed Nintendo's, uh, but I thought the whole event, the whole E3 event, could have been uh, could have been a bit better. But yeah, uh, it definitely yeah. ended strong. But yeah, mm-hmm. I thought there were some pretty good surprises and some decent announcements. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the, like there were there were some highlights overall. Like I feel like Xbox and Nintendo were like the only few that actually had um like the str- like some some strong cr- conferences to start off with. Everyone else really uh-huh. it felt weird that they were there or why they announced it. Um, even even the Summer Game Fest, even that even though that wasn't part of E three, um, uh-huh. I kind of preferred that more than like what we had with square enix or capcom or like heck yeah, like, there were definitely some yeah some stinkers s- some big stinkers but um it, it it seems like it's they're slowly going back to um the e3 kind of route ever ever since the pandemic happened so it wasn't the, it wasn't the best showing but the the events that i was personally looking forward to uh i feel like they didn't disappoint like nintendo or xbox um but that's mostly what i could see i'm i was more surprised that xbox kind of like surprised me with what they had that was like one of their strongest conferences they had in a, a long while especially how they would present everything i think that was a really good thing mm-hmm. they did with that nintendo was um that was a very strong one ever like after a year of not showing anything and right especially nintendo's nintendo's really was like if you are like an old school nintendo fan or or you're someone who grew up with these very old games that nintendo doesn't even remember anymore it's like they got you in this direct like they it's it's as some people call it like the nostalgia direct or something like that because they they show these games where like you thought they were gone I mean, or is- lost for for a long time and then they they show them and they announce them i mean is metro dread really nostalgia based if it hasn't even been played by anybody yet um <laughs> it's but i don't know anyway yeah. i'm i mean I, i'm i haven't played a lot of metroid games i've made i played metro prime that was really mm-hmm. it but uh mm-hmm. but i'm excited to try this new one of yeah dread the only metroid um, game that i personally played was uh metroid fusion fusion on the game boy um mm-hmm. Or specifically the Game Boy Advance, to be technical, I guess. But that was the only Metroid game that I played, and um, I never finished it. But I always I enjoyed uh, how it looked and how it played for me personally. I've played Prime One, and I've finished Super Metroid on SNES. Oh yeah, that's right. Me- uh, Super Metroid's on uh, on the Nintendo Online thing, thingy majigger. Yeah, it's there, and it's on the mini. If you happen to have that. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, shit, that's right. Yeah, remember <sighs> micro consoles? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I The only micro console I have is the Super Nintendo one, which is kind of... It's a, it's a neat Same. one, I but... Have- 
I have both the, Nintendo, the NES and the SNES micro consoles. And they just happened to be there. I happened to have the money. I was like, oh, let me get them. Yeah. I, um, I unfortunately have the, uh, the PlayStation Mini, the PS1 Mini. <sighs> I, I canceled that right on time. <laughs> Here's the thing: I didn't. I didn't pay for it. A friend of mine who she worked at Best Buy, um, she uh, she asked if I if we wanted one, and I'm like, okay. I'm like, and she gave it as a gift, so I was like, oh, thank you. So I didn't pay a, something. Yeah, for I mean, yeah. At least you didn't pay for it. That's different, but mm-hmm. it's, yeah, it's, it's still kind of like, like yeah. The 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 PS One Mini is not that great either way, but it has some interesting stuff, but. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that that kind of fad's kind of gone away. But mm-hmm. but yeah, that was that was basically that what, was E3. That was E3. Um, I'm kind of surprised we actually went a bit long with this one, but it, it, it's not as long as our first one. But yeah, especially for like with what Nintendo had, I feel like we, there was going to be some talk about it. But um, mm-hmm. that late that was the end of E3. E3's done especially since by the time this goes up or when we recorded it and again i want to thank gage for being on the show with us today as our guest where can the people find you and know more information about a you you can find me on my twitch channel odd eyes gardevoir capital o capital e capital g where i speed run different games and also play a whole bunch of fighting games and in fact, after our last recording session, I actually picked up the last two world records in Godzilla 2014 on PS4. Nice, nice. So that was nice. cool. You can also find me on my Twitter, which is Odd I Gardevoir, same capitalization. And I also have my YouTube, which just acts as a uh, stream archive for now. Nice. That's me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go give him a follow, guys, on all those social medias. And of course, all of that information about Gage will be on the description below, so you could give that a follow. And um, and of course, you can follow us on our socials to find out when we uh, when we upload these uh, these videos or when we have other stuff coming up. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And um, with that out of the way, guys, uh, thank you all for watching. We love you all. Hope to see you guys soon. And bye bye. 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 Bye.